Welcome to the Apple Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is August 17th, 2024, and we've got a fascinating lineup of stories for you. From the myths surrounding the Apple 2GS to the challenges faced by Patreon due to Apple's policies and the latest innovations in file systems and retro computing, there's plenty to explore. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Let's kick things off with a deep dive into the Apple 2GS. An article from Userlandia debunks myths about this classic machine, particularly its CPU speed and performance. Released in 1986, the IEGS featured a 2.8 MHz processor, lagging behind competitors like the Atari ST and Commodore Amiga. Despite rumors that Apple intentionally throttled its speed to protect the Macintosh, the article suggests technical challenges were the real culprits. Issues with chip yields and the complexities of the 65816 architecture played significant roles. The piece also highlights Steve Wozniak's early hopes for a faster version of the chip and the eventual development of accelerator cards that boosted the IAGS's capabilities. Next, we turn to a modern-day challenge faced by Patreon. The platform is grappling with Apple's demand for a 30% cut of transactions, a move that has forced Patreon to rethink its business model. CEO Jack Conte has expressed his commitment to supporting creators while navigating this tricky landscape. Critics argue that Apple's practices are exploitive, and some suggest Patreon should take a stand by offering alternative subscription options. This conflict highlights the broader issues within the mobile app ecosystem and the need for a re-evaluation of how platforms like Apple interact with developers. In the realm of file systems, Apple File System, or APFS, has replaced HFS Plus as the default for iOS 10.3 and later, and macOS High Sierra and beyond. APFS brings several enhancements, such as cloning, snapshots, and space sharing, which optimize storage and file management. Clones allow efficient file copying without extra disk space usage, while space sharing enables multiple volumes within a single partition to share free space. These features simplify file interactions and improve storage efficiency on Apple devices. For retro computing enthusiasts, the A2 FPGA is a new open source peripheral card for Apple II computers. Developed by Ed Anuff and Josh Norrid, this card connects Apple II models to modern displays via HDMI and offers audio and video enhancements. Available for $200 or as a DIY project, the A2 FPGA supports video output and functions as a sound and video overlay board. This innovation reflects the enduring appeal of the Apple II and the creativity of its community. Moving on to software development, CubeFox is a new SDK and platform designed to simplify secure app deployment on Kubernetes. It reduces DevOps complexity by allowing developers to create applications in isolated environments. Key features include deployment distillation and version deployments, which streamline app updates and prevent over-provisioning. CubeFox supports dynamic routing and telemetry management, making it a valuable tool for developers. In the world of social networking, Drippy is a new app that lets users transform their friends' outfits using AI. Users can upload photos and choose outfit styles, which the app generates. Drippy features a social feed for sharing creations and offers a fun, engaging interface. While the AI has room for improvement, the app provides a unique platform for fashion exploration. On the hardware front, a user reported issues with the fingerprint sensor on their MacBook Air M2 after a trip. Despite troubleshooting efforts, the sensor remained unresponsive. The Apple Community Forum offered various workarounds, including touching the area beside the trackpad before using the sensor. This issue highlights potential environmental factors affecting sensor performance. For those with a hacker mindset, Silverbullet is a note-taking app that transforms notes into a dynamic database. Users can annotate notes with metadata and create applications within the app. Silverbullet is open source and self-hosted, offering complete data control. It supports markdown, live preview, and end-user programming, making it a powerful tool for personal knowledge management. Lastly, Symbols is a new platform for creating and testing UI libraries. It streamlines UI kit development, offering over 900 components and real-time collaboration. Symbols aims to reduce development costs and solve tech stack fragmentation issues. Currently in beta, the platform is set for a full launch in Q4 2024, 
promising to revolutionize UI kit management. That's all for today's episode of the Apple Daily News. We hope you enjoyed these stories and insights into the world of Apple technology and beyond. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories covered today. Join us again tomorrow for more updates and discussions. Until then, stay curious and keep exploring the world of technology.